Hey guys, so today we have these Magic Foil Book and Kit sets. I found these at Ollie's for like $2. I got the Cinderella, the Beauty and the Beast, and then the Frozen. So I thought these would be kind of interesting to check out. Um, they all come with an activity book and 10 foil crafts. So they're all basically the same, but they're a little, each one's a little bit different. This one says it makes a flower hair clip and a shimmer book bag. This one has a princess tiara and a heart journal. And then the Cinderella one has a shine and sparkle frame and a charming necklace. But they all have 30 magic foil sheets and over 50 foam stickers. So I think today we are gonna look at the frozen one just because that's one I picked. <laughs> So we're going to see what's in here. Here's like the activity book and you can add your foil stickers and color in the scenes. Here's how to make the hair, um, the hair clip, but we're going to check it out. Here's Olaf over on the side. It's on the side too. Not much of anything else. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up. Get this sticker off of here. There we go. And that's just cardboard, and that's it. So everything is in this little packet. There's a project with, or 10 projects inside. That seems like a lot for two dollars so we'll see we'll see about all that get rid of this bag here's our foil sheets oh these are super pretty here's a teal one they're kind of stuck together there's a lot of teal ones there's purple with a pattern uh, <laughs> silver one pink orange red more pink, more silver, some, just all kinds of colors. Some of them have patterns, some of them are plain, just all kinds of stuff. So that's really cool. This is our activity book. So let's see what we got. We got a page with Olaf. And then our first thing here, I guess there's a message there from Elsa. Our first craft is making, um, oh, this is just tips, sorry. I thought that was for the hair, hair craft, or the hair clip, yeah. So it is, the first craft is the hair clip. It tells you the things you need, and then your steps with pictures, so that's pretty nice. And that's what it'll look like, that's really cute. And then you can make a crystal snowflake. What else do we have? We have a snow queen crown. We have a through the magic door. Looks like a, a door hanger. You can see down here it says Anna's room. We have a snowball bracelet. A Blizzard Buddy bookmark. So here they put Olaf on it, that's cute. I'm having a hard time turning the pages. So here's the Shimmer book bag. Elsa on it. And then here is a picture of Arendelle to color. And use your stickers with, I guess. And there's Elsa's castle. There's Olaf at the beach. And there's Elsa and Anna. The thing I'm noticing with these activities is um, I think all of them you have to add extra stuff. So that's not 
That's not very nice because, I mean, let's see here. You need the template, you need tracing paper, pencil, craft paper, scissors, double-sided tape, um, the foil sticker, thin ribbon, sticky tape, glue, bobby pin, and duct tape. For this craft, which is the one that they show on the box, um, the only thing they give you is the template, the foil sticker, and that's it. So everything else you have to do. You can't do that without going and getting extra stuff. This one is pretty much the same thing. You have you need your own paper to make your snowflake. You need ribbon. This one too. They you all, there's not even one in here that you don't need extra stuff for so that's kind of disappointing but, I mean I guess I did only pay two dollars for this and it did come with a lot of these the foil sheets and these are the sticker sheets to use oh there we go <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense I was like why do they not have anything on them so can you see that there's a big heart with Elsa, here's a snowflake with Anna on it, and there's some like gems and flowers and things. There's Sven and oh what's his name? It's like Snowball or uh I can't think of what his name is. The uh ice monster that Elsa makes to protect her castle. There's Anna, there's Olaf, some hearts, some more snowflakes. There's Elsa again, there's Olaf on the beach, there's the flower for the hair clip, crowns, snowflakes, and flowers. So these are pretty cute, even though we can't really do the crafts without buying extra stuff. I think it's okay. So, um... Let's test some of these out. Actually, let's see what they tell us. Cause we did some of these for Christmas with the foil, but let's see what they how they tell us to do the art tip. Um the foil art, sorry. So it says to press out the shape you want to use and peel a yellow paper section off of the sticker. You choose the foil color and place the sheet on the sticky area, color aside facing up. So Oh, like this. You just put it down on your sticker. Firmly rub your finger over the foil and whisper the magic words. Let it go. Oh, that's new. Good thing we read this. Lift the sheet to reveal the incredible sparkling effect. Repeat steps two through three until your art is shining from top to bottom. And then down here it tells us that there are four sheets in the back that we can, um decorate with our stickers. So I really like this Olaf here. Um, okay so each of the things are cut so that is good. So maybe we will get a piece of paper and we'll make a little little thing here. Alright so we got some cardstock here just so we have something to put our stickers onto. Let's kind of see what colors we have. Kind of separate them a little bit, I guess. And none of, like, the only one that's bigger than one of these, I think, is this heart. So if you wanted to do the whole heart background, you gotta do two sheets. Um, Elsa's dress, it, it's bigger than a sheet, can you see that? But most of them are smaller, so you can use one whole sheet and not have to worry about it. I am wondering why there is not a picture of Kristoff, because we have Sven, we have Olaf, we have Anna and Elsa. 
And I feel like Kristoff's the only one that's another main character that's not there. So, I don't know. He's kind of one of my favorites. So, we're gonna go ahead and pick... Oh, was I supposed to stick this down or was I supposed to... I don't think it told me to stick it down, did it? Where did my book go? I don't know. It's over here. <laughs> totally know what I'm doing here. Yes, it did not say to stick my sticker down. So we're just gonna work on this like this. This is the first one we're gonna do. And first thing we're gonna do, um, we didn't really get brown, so I guess we'll do all of his little twigs and hair, like his arms and his hair in orange. So, oh, this is a little bit tricky. gonna do it orange you might as well do his nose yeah this is gonna be very messy with all these little bits coming off ah no stay down nope yeah see now he's not gonna have fingers he's just gonna have a wide hand at the end but that's okay it's okay I'm okay with that so we're gonna get some orange Put it on here. Then we just mush it. I'm making a big mess here because I moved my paper around. So wanna, oh, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Singing badly. That's how you, the magic words have to be said, right? All right. Let's see. Oh, he's super cute. So cute. I like that. Looks like we did a unicorn. Alright, so next, um, we're gonna do his mouth. We're gonna do his mouth with some pink. <coughs> there we go don't really have a color to do like his buttons and stuff so I guess we'll just kinda maybe we'll do his eyes and his buttons uh, or his coal whatever it is in a dark blue does that sound good? <coughs> oh good that's a, oh and we had another purple Push down on his buttons. Where's his eyes? Alright. Oh, sorry. Not in frame. Alright. I think he's looking pretty sparkly. Before we do that, I want to do the background because I don't want, um, whenever I do the background, I don't want it to go over the silver that's going to be his body. So I'm going to do the background with his body covered up and then, yeah, hopefully it will look better that way. We're gonna go ahead and use some purple for the background. Just, just cause some of this purple with circles on it. So far, he's looking pretty good. This is really cute now. You got a Olaf shadow there. It's adorable. Um, so now we're gonna we'll take off his 
his covering for his body. Oh, see his eyes didn't pick up whenever we did that. It'll be okay. And we're just gonna use one of these fun silvers with like the pattern on them. And just rub it on. Goodness, look at that. We got some some of the silver picked up into his mouth. I don't know if we can kind of scratch that off. Yeah. See, it's a little bit tricky because if you don't get the paper, like, see how his eyes didn't pick up very well? Oh. If you don't get the um, foil pressed down on the sticker well enough, then it'll pick up the foil from a different sheet. So you gotta be careful with that. Let's go ahead and make his cloud. We'll make his cloud a uh, teal. Just one of these solid teals. Okay, so there we have our first sticker. Looks pretty shiny. His eyes are a little messed up, his mouth and his buttons got a little bit messed up, but I think he's super cute. Very shiny, it's super soft. I love this pattern on the purple and then the pattern on the silver together. And then the, the green, the teal color, it's just plain. So then you can go ahead and take the backing off this and stick it right to your paper. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more and we'll see where we end up.
that's how my sticker foil art turned out. Um, so I have a couple problems with this, this kit here. First of all, it says that the book has 10 foil crafts. I mean, I guess the book does ten, have 10 foil crafts, but because this is a book and kit, I assumed it would have the things to do at least some of the crafts. Like, I mean, most of the time whenever you get a craft kit that doesn't have, like, it doesn't have the stuff for all of it, or some of it, that, that makes sense. But usually they have at least all the stuff for at least one or two of the easier tasks. And I think this is a little bit weird that this didn't have any, all the stuff for any of them. Another thing is, is there, it's not a bigger picture. On here, can you see Elsa? Her skin is a pink color. It does not look like this pink color. <laughs> we don't have a brown or a tan or a beige colored foil. So you have to use what you got. So you got pink, orange, red, silver, purple, and two blues. So skin is hard. Also with Sven, I made them all orange because I didn't have, there's not like yellow or brown or bronze or gold or anything to do a two-tone on him. I could have used a different color, like I guess I could have used red or pink or something, but I think that would look a bit goofy. He looks a bit goofy anyways. Um, some of the smaller parts were really hard to do, like the stickers don't want to come off individually. Some of these, um, well all of the snowflakes were really hard to get out of here, like they just didn't want to push out. Like the bigger ones, they come out pretty easy. Like. Her hand's a little bit stuck. But see, like, her hand sticker already came off. Nah. Close enough. But, like, oh, well, of course, see, that one popped out easy. But the ones that have more detail around them, they're a little bit harder to get out. Like, that one even came out easy, but, like, these ones had a really hard time getting them and then like the sticker part comes off and it's just kind of a big mess. Also, this book says, or this box says it's suitable for three plus, which while a three year old could do this, I think they might get frustrated with the stickers because whenever you pull part of the sticker backing off, the whole thing comes up and if they, want to do a certain spot, a certain color, it might be annoying for them that the little bits all come up. I don't know. They might be okay with it. Scott is back and forth on how he deals with it. Sometimes he's fine with things doing stuff like that and other times he's not. But overall, if you get this just to do foil stickers, I think it's a cute kit. I think it comes with a lot of stuff for the $2 that I paid for it. And yeah, honestly, I'm probably never going to do any of these activities in this book because I'm not gonna buy the stuff to do them. So yeah, but for this stuff, $2 is a really good deal and I would probably buy it again for my kids. I mean, we have two more sets, so. Let me know below who you want to see next. Do you want to see Beauty and the Beast with Belle or Cinderella? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.